Republicans in the Senate expressed their desire to include changes in the Biden administration's request for assistance to Ukraine, Israel and Taiwan, as well as strengthening the border with Mexico in a single package for a total amount of $106 billion. This is reported by the Wall Street Journal. Report, the Biden administration's proposal includes approximately $61 billion for Ukraine, another $14 billion for Israel for security needs, and approximately $9 billion for humanitarian aid to the two countries suffering as a result of the war. This amount also includes about $2 billion for security assistance in the Indo-Pacific region and $14 billion for the border with Mexico, partly intended for the consumption of migrants. Both parties in Congress support providing aid to Israel, but Republicans are divided on funding for Ukraine, with some of them believing that more military aid should be provided instead of humanitarian or economic support to the Ukrainian government. There is also diversity in the approaches to illegal immigration, and publications discuss the need to strengthen border controls. The Senate Minority Leader, Mitch McConnell, expressed general support for the administration's approach, but said he planned to make some changes. Last week, Senator Tom Cotton, a close staffer of McConnell, called the administration's proposal unfair. He stated that the Republicans will independently introduce a bill on alternative financing in the Senate and put forward several key positions. I will not spend, for example, three, five billion dollars on satisfying the potential needs of residents of gas. Such money, in his words, could get into. He also said that it does not support eleven, eight billion dollars in spending by the Ukrainian government, not related to the war, and also four, seven billion dollars on housing transportation and services for detained immigrants in the U.S., considering that the money should be directed towards deportation. The bill requires support from both parties to pass it, as it requires 60 votes to advance it in the Democrat-controlled Senate. This means that at least eight Republicans must support the bill if 51 Democratic senators vote for. Some Republicans believe that funding for Israel should be allocated separately from aid to Ukraine, considering the latter's political unpopularity among voters in their party and individual legislators Republicans. The Senate should vote for aid to Israel now on its own, said Senator Rick Scott in the interview, adding, everyone in Washington knows that what the president proposed will never pass in the House of Representatives. Even before the White House officially announced the package last week, a group of female Republicans in the Senate signed a list to McConnell and Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer, in which they called on any additional package to include additional funding for Israel. For Ukraine. Усім дякую за перегляд. Коментуйте новини, ставте лайки, підписуйтесь на канал. Підтримуйте канал фінансово. Деталі в описі до відео. Все буде Україна.